Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. We are back and I cannot wait to carry on with this game because I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, I've had a couple of comments from you guys about these books here, um, specifically about how many there are. Um, and I believe there are, as Daredevil said, 26 of these, one for each letter of the alphabet. And Ciparos has actually said that if you open all of them and have a look at them, then you get an achievement for doing that. So that's something I'll probably do off camera um, rather than make you guys sit through that. Uh, so let's Let's, what did we do? We talked to Buzz, didn't we? Is there anything else we can say to him? No, there's not. Excuse me just a minute. Sure. Also, sorry if you hear any noise in the background. There's some kids playing out in the gardens outside and, you know, it's, it, the mic might pick it up, I don't know, but if, if you hear any weird sounds, that's what it is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the weather's really nice here in, in England at the moment, so people are all outside and stuff, which is nice to see. Um, right. This thing got put here, didn't it? Thing on the doorstep. We saw a little cutscene. What's this telling us? We can use the the mouse wheel, can we? Oh, I see. That brings up the inventory. Nice. Uh, thing on doorstep. Let's have a look at this. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. It certainly does. It ain't for my nose, but I could uh, pass it on to the librarian. Oh, yeah. I guess it maybe was left for the librarian. I mean, do we want to open it and see what's in it? We, we probably shouldn't, right? But... It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. Yeah, okay. Let's not open it, just in case. Uh, librarian dude, do you want this weird box that was left outside? I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What? what? What does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. Mwahahahaha. Wow, is they actually wrote that out. Or is this thing ticking? Oh god, is it a bomb? Whoa! Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, now we're being dragged up. Well, that was certainly eventful. Gone. Not exactly the start I expected to this episode, but there we go. So. Was that you making all that ratchet, Kerwin? No. No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set up a bomb in here. I, I was about to call the police. Nonsense. You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? Uh. I. Uh. Okay, sir. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a while to clean all of this up. Okay, so now we're playing as Buzz. Interesting. Oh, there's a shoe here. And that's glowing, that medallion it's now. Mr. Katab's shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. <laughs> yeah, it's Don's shoe. Right, can we... It's Don's shoe. It's all he's left behind. Can we take that? We can. Okay. Nice. It's th that's all we have in the event. Okay, right. The medallion's glowing now. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? So I wonder if the damage caused that? It's sure to fall off and kill someone whenever the next earthquake hits. Or if it was glowing underneath and now that it's cracked, we can actually see it. That monstrous cracked medallion is literally an accident waiting to happen. Okay. Uh, can we... I d knock it off for sure but i can't reach that high all right can we chuck the shoe at it i just realized how long i've actually wanted to do this don sends his regards ugly <laughs> here we go oh <gasps> is that the necronomicon is is this what don was after this looks nothing like the other editions creep factor just went up 200 percent oh we yes hide it up there and why you're coming with me, weird book. I'm guessing it probably is the Necronomicon, but we're going to find out, I'm sure. Also, it has a weird eye on it. Achievement never unlocked. never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. <laughs> oh boy, what an evening. Think, Buzz, think. Dawn's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. 
The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. I'm not sure whether to think the buzz cave is a really cool place or a really lame place, but I think we're probably going to find out. I mean... Okay, safely home. What... What the hell was all that about? Maybe, maybe a bit of is both. Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? Yes. What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? Uh, you're a lot of help. Yeah, great help, Cat. Okay, Thank you. Might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptuzi Dinger Kampa Per Adonai Methatron. Probably wouldn't read things out of it, to be honest. Ooh, what happened there? What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, I wish you could talk back for once. Did we just put some sort of weird, like, curse thing on the cat? Oh my god. What's going on? It's got a talk, isn't it? Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. Yeah, there were lots as of... much as I hate agreeing. Oh my god, I knew does it. Does feel very different. <laughs> oh, right? Maybe reading that out loud oh, wasn't god. such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean, we made the cat talk. Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? <laughs> I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... Uh. This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I you know. can say that I'll again. Just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That, that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, <laughs> are you? <laughs> right? I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, weird. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's... There's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? I would say probably Wait, not. Sorry, I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. <laughs> I just don't want your kind of problems, man. Yeah, I get that. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. It's a good life. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Uh, oh my god, I'm not even going to pronounce... I'm going to attempt to pronounce all this. Just, I would wish the kitty goes back to normal. Shunu limutuma anakulu blui zidinjir anakampa. I wish kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <laughs> Darn it, I can't even know <laughs> right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Definitely not. Are we going to try oh the boy. others? This is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, by the way, kitty... Nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. We have. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumb snake possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna stick around? <laughs> no, I'm gonna whack the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. Oh my god. You'll stick around and undo this. Maybe. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist <laughs> or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. All right, we're gonna have yeah, to you're right. try and figure out it. how to turn this cat back into a normal cat. Uh, right, what have we got in here? Oh, we can hold R, like right click to zoom in on things. That's really cool, I like that. Uh, right, <clears throat> remains of cake lighter. What's this? It's our one and only treasured lighter. 
All right. Well, lemons lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the stove or oven. Who's lemon? Gonna grab this for a while. We'll take that. What's the deal with being able to select the cat on things now? That's kind of weird. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Ah, oh, yeah, it looks Whatever moldy. was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. <laughs> I would imagine so, yeah. Oh, no. I never eat Lemon's cooking. He puts stuff in food. Weird stuff. Weird stuff like what? Not on your life, buddy. Oh, so we can get the cat to do things now as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, Lemon also lives with us. I see. So Lemon is somebody else who lives here. Right, I get it. That's our tiny fridge. It is actually very tiny. It's usually either full of Lemon's dubious cooking or completely empty. Hey, it's not completely empty. What's that? A can? Can of Dr. Fisher. <laughs> it's a can of Dr. Fisher. Produced exclusively TM. with fish materia water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. Lovely. Can we take it? I prefer poopsie. Poopsie. Right, okay, let's pick it up. I'm gonna grab this. Right, okay. Make it soda. Nah, I can open it myself. Right, so we can get the cat to do things. That's really cool. Uh, right, let's look at the oven. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Yeah, I kind of want to know more about that. Look, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I have this long-running fear of leaving the gas on, and then the dorm explodes, and I'm not even slowly walking away from it. I just stand there in tears. No. Okay, we won't do that. I'm not sure I can bring myself to open the oven. I'm a weak, weak man. Maybe the cat can, though. Can, can the cat open it? Hang on. Hey, kitty. Think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, <laughs> you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, we can do yeah, it. Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes! And fear is the path to the dark side. Fear <laughs> leads to anger. Anger. Open the damn oven, Kerwin. Star Wars reference. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I did it. Hey, and there's Lemma's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Huh. So we've got the key. I'm guessing that lets us into Lemon's room then. <laughs> Accept this cookie. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. I love it. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, I'll take it either way. It's definitely not the type of cookie that you can eat, that is for sure. Uh, I kind of want to see what it looks like in the event, though. Oh, no, there is actually a cookie there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right. What's going on with the tablet? My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Why? Why does it need to charge for two days? Dead as... well dead. I think you need a new tablet then. No use. It's dead. Cat, can you do anything with it? I don't think I'll bother her about it. No. Okay. Uh, framed picture of Kitty. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Yeah, you could say totally that. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. <laughs> Too shape. That's a bit rude. Right. I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. <laughs> it's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. No. Nah, I don't need it. Right, okay. Uh, we've got some action figures, poster, frames, picture. Is there anything this way? Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll look at the rest of this stuff here then, and then we'll try and get into Lemon's room. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. No, it's fine. Well, I don't like this new situation at all. <laughs> We're gonna hear all the secrets now. What's left of my once impressive action figure collection? I guess I'm growing or something. Yeah, maybe. Doubt it though. <laughs> right. Completely useless right now. Indeed. Right, let's look at the poster. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. 
Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Literally. Someday soon, I hope. Right, who's this? That's Ron Dilbert. <laughs> Ron Dilbert. He's really grumpy. Grumpy gamer. Ron can't help us now. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Ron can't help us now. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Secret of Monkey Island reference. Of course, Ron Gilbert, the creator of um, Monkey Island and many other classics. But I think, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. And we'll head into Lemon's room in the next one and see what's in there. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. I wasn't expecting the talking cat, but adds a whole new dimension to the game and I really like it. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it and join our little point and click community that we're building here. And I will see you all next time.